Gemini, how you doing? Welcome to your reading here on the Astro Flower. A happy birthday to you, because it is your birthday season. And for those of you going from the 17th through to the end of uh, Gemini, happy birthday to you. I hope you have a lovely one. Don't forget, it is the start of your new year. This is when energy will start coming back to you. It usually comes back fully a week after one's birthday. It's just a question of rhythm of energy, like seasons of a planet. Um, and uh, for you, it's a similar sort of thing. Uh, so your energy should be coming back. Usually a week, week and a half, two weeks after your birthday. That's when the material side starts kicking in. Uh, and then over the month, then the emotional side really starts kicking in. There's been so much great potential for you uh, in your readings. Absolutely lovely. Your weekly readings over on TikTok have been amazing as well. The daily readings, sorry. Let's just have a look what's going on for you then. Uh, here we go. We've got overall energies, karmic message on your relationship side, karmic message on your financial side, influence in the universe, influence in past self, influence in the future self, general outcome or the message, if you like, for the coming week. Let's, uh, the lesson for the coming week. Uh, let's just see what's going to here on a message here. <laughs> I almost get like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, when you've been tramming a long time to get to the beach and you get that first glimpse of the sea. And it's like you're running and then I get this, like you're running down the beach. It's like they're taking things off and just kind of going, oh, I'm going to jump in that sea. It's going to be absolutely beautiful, lovely, beautiful sea and waves. Exactly what I want, if that's what you want, obviously. Uh, you know, it's that sort of thing. It's on the, it's, it's. It's dawning on you that it can be real. Yes, look at that. An ultimate celebration of your life plan coming together with life. Or your life plan coming together with the life plan of another person. Or your life plan coming together with a business or a project. It's, it's, it's now sort of becoming real for you, Gemini. And I think now, once the energy starts kicking in, I think you've had a um, particular time over the past year, to be honest. It's been hard, I think, in lots of ways. Um, but you've, I think you've got through it now. I think this is where you're really breaking the back of it. You're really, you know, you're, you're breaking through here. Let's just see what's going on in your relationship side. You know, you should know by your birthday what sort of experiences you want to live in the coming year it should be a general plan that you make this is what we make for the coming year that's our plan there uh and so the karmic message is pretty straightforward for you i think more than anything else you should be able to not know where you're going as it were karmically speaking um the major thing that comes in is really from the universe that and also your past self <laughs> Your future self is really important in the fact that if you, you know, you should know your goals. If you don't know your goals, take time out with nature, absorb yourself in the vibration and just listen. It may seem impossible what the vibration is telling you. It may say, so sort of saying you've got to go to the moon. But the universe doesn't tell you straight, straight. Otherwise, life will be just so boring. It gives you clues. And this is where you can use those clues. And once you know where you want to go, that's when you just go ahead and go and, and do it. You know, and putting it in process. So the lesson for this, out, this, this week here is really solid for you on the relationship side. Seven of Cups. This is my card of evident path. This is what I'm saying. Karmic path here. You know, you know, you know, Gemini. You know inside you what it's about. And you can't ignore it. The universe has given you the star. This is what I'm saying here. This is a blessing, an enormous blessing for you in alignment. It could be you in alignment with your spiritual path with, or just in alignment with yourself. But whatever it is, your, you, you know, your, your ultimate dreams and goals and aspirations are not inside watching this video it's out there living it that's what life is for and i think this is where the universe is sort of saying come on let's go you know 
yeah, from your past self to your future self, the slowest night of all, okay, this is why I think your past has been a little bit laborious, let's, uh, let's put it like that, you know, it's not anything, nothing's been happening, it's just been difficult to get the plane off the ground, and this is because you've been planting seeds for your future, and it's going to, should become very evident for you, yeah, in your future self, the page of pentacles, this is learning about how you put this evident path in place. This is what the future is bringing you, of knowing, kind of going, okay, if I put the kettle on, I know that in two minutes I will have a cup of tea. So that will quench my thirst, but also um, my, my pleasure. And this is, where, this is where you're understanding the physical steps. And I think this is why these two are really important, actually. Look at that, you've got the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. You know, you've got to see things in a different sort of way, you get a different perspective on things, on that evident path, by allowing you to really go for your dreams and aspirations and start really testing the, the seeds that you've been planting in yourself and everywhere around you as you go forth. Hmm. The lesson to be learned here is, I think this is what I was saying here, it's in you. The message is in you. And she is channeling that information through the unforeseen. And I think this is where you can channel, uh, channel that in unforeseen. It's like when I said, go out there and listen. This is what I'm talking about. This is what the lesson's all about. You have to listen to your inner being here. You have to listen to your inner emotions if you really want to live what you want to live. I think it's going to be great, but don't tell everyone because they'll all want it to be great. <laughs> you know, but you can share this reading, of course, not a problem. <laughs> Evident path, I think, for you. And you've got to, I think this is the week here to know it. And that's what I'm saying about, you know, coming, seeing the seat and now you know it, you know it's possible. Let's just see what's, look, what's going on on your financial side. Okay, the financial side is really solid. It's incredibly solid. Uh, what's coming in from the universe is very much Aryan. Uh, it's, it's, it's good blasts, blasts of energy, as it were. Like, it's, like a, it's, it's like a flag that's sort of like waving in your direction every now and then just to sort of like blow you a bit, like a fan as it turns. You know what I mean? It turns your way and you're going, oh, I love it. You know, that sort of thing. You know? Um, your past seems to be really important, but then this could be because we're still in your birthday season. And your future, it's not so, it seems like you've come to terms with your future in a way that, you know, I'd like to be an astronaut, but looking in the mirror each morning, I mean, I realise that, that, that unless technology majorly changes, it's not going to happen for me. Um, so, uh, you know, I've come to terms with that now. Don't worry, I've, I've dealt with it. I've let go of it. I've had my ten of swords moment you know, about not being an astronaut. And, um, you know, and I think that's what's coming through you more than anything else. And the, and the message, the message that comes out of it is, is very forceful, very strong. It's like the champagne that coming out of a bottle. It's, there's a lot of force in champagne. You shake up that bowl, you've got a lot of energy going on. Yeah. Karmic path here is very strong. You know the good qualities within you. This is what you should know. And this is where you could be marrying it with a new job. And you're getting recognition for that, I think, as well, on your karmic path. About it being really sort of solid, very, very defined about what's going on. That's really good. The universe here, yeah, look at that. I said like a flag. You know, it really is that sort of energy, that knight of swords energy. Very much you. You know, kind of going, it's giving you a lot of inspiration to do. And apparently that's what you should be. You know, that's every now and then it kind of goes, come on, let's go, let's do it. From your past to your future, it's very important. Out with the old and in with the new. I think this has, may has to do with a new direction that, uh, within your life, financially or uh, materialistically. It could be also to do with activities. You might sort of like, 
discovered that you love rock climbing and that's it you know you end up moving to the, you know the pyrenees or the the alps or uh you know the uh or the rockies or the you know snowdonia or whatever it is you know that sort of thing and it's like that seems to be that passion is going to help you drive that sort of like that that quest that the universe is also helping you to go upon in your future yeah i think this is like it's six of swords you're going to much better shores there is no doubt about it and it's it's a driving force within you and that's why the universe is giving you that as well and you've got that ones there because you know you got the six of swords in the bar, in the in the boat there but that man's there has got a wand a wand and that's what's driving your past is driving you to a future that is so much better for you it may not necessarily be here this week and i'm not sure it will be but there will be a lot of recognition almost like a recognition that i'm saying that you're seeing the beach and that's it you know you know it's there now you can see it you've got there and that's what and then you're going to get that recognition back towards you as well strength that is it it's learning that strength that is within you of going off on a whole bright new path as it were or way of doing things and i think it's more to do with the security within yourself uh any, more than anything else and how you really see yourself i think that's more more defined than your relationship or your emotional or your spiritual side of life but there seems to be an offering coming into you and you you know it's it's an offering that's taking you to a to a good place okay let's just see what's going on with the light seers card oh yeah, yeah here we go look as i said your two of wands that's what's going on there your two of wands is uniting with another two of wands this is about planning it could have actually something to do with travel involved um if there is travel it may well i think it'd be more within your financial side on your material side of life than on your uh, relationship side wisdom your inner wisdom this is very much a you card um the king of swords you've got that inner wisdom you know where you're going you know what you're doing as i said earlier on with the karmic path it's just like it's obvious for you it's so evident and, it, and it, the evident path could be happiness. And this is where the universe is bringing something in here really good in order for you to kind of go, wow, yeah, this is possible. And that's the four of wands all about justice. Look at that. It is bringing you something beautifully, bringing you to a place where to harmony, to understanding. That is all about judgment as well. Uh, in that sort of side, being a very good judge of your situation and your wisdom. Um, and this is bringing in absolutely it's bringing in a beautiful offering into your life uh, of how to you know of what to live your happiness more than anything else and that happiness could be with one other person it could be with your family your friends community whatever it is the knight of pentacles you get the four of swords yeah i we all go through difficult times right in life we all there's without exception yeah and i think here is is like i think the healing that's coming through is because you've put in place uh seeds that is going to give you that healing and i think the universe and every all the energies are recognizing that and that's where it's giving you a lot a lot of help really more than anything else <whistles> learning curve is a bit of a tower moment I said, I said, you've got to see things differently. And I don't, I don't necessarily think that in the future there is a tower moment. I think basically what it's doing here is you've got an opportunity. And, it, and life is all about that. It's all about the, you know, equal of opportunity. You've got this opportunity here to change your belief systems through that page of uh, pentacles. And it's to do with that as well. Because you believed in something in the past. And, you know, you sowed all those seeds and it didn't come out exactly how you wanted it. And therefore, you're getting the healing from that because you're relearning. Not relearning. I don't think it's that. It's just seeing it in a different light. It's, it's, it's building. When you build a relationship, you know, 
uh, and that relationship then separates, you will build another relationship. But you'll do it completely differently. And I think this is what that tower is all about. It's giving you the opportunity to explore and experience life in a very, in a very physical sense in a different way. Happiness, your happiness after difficulty, it comes from within you. And this is what the justice and the star card is all about. You know, it's just those four together there. Absolutely brilliant for you. It really is good. And I think you've got to keep your eye on the eye on the prize, Gemini, this week. And I think that's what your learning is all about this week. I think the message is this week for you that you will understand and you will get to grips with that four of wands of being in alignment with yourself. But it's it's being in alignment with your happiness more than anything else. With the um, three of pentacles, we get the Empress card. Creating something new. That's what, and I think you're starting to recognize, let's just say um, you had a job, um, you know, being uh, a manager of some sort of business and etc. And now you've sold your house and you've started up a uh, Airbnb somewhere, you know, a bed and breakfast. Yeah. You are realizing, and what you're bringing forward to this new venture is all your qualities that you've learned up to now. And I think you're recognizing it, but you do have an enormous amount of qualities. And I think the world around you will almost kind of go, wow, look at Gemini. And if you're thinking of going for it, I would go for it. Look at that. With the, um, with the Knight of Swords, that mission, you get the uh, King of Wands. Now, you are an air sign, but actually you've got more fire, in, according to the Astro Flower, in you than you do air and if you look at your sign it'll be linked in the description somewhere a link to the to it you'll see that the air is at the top and there's fire at the base and this is all to do with that strength card as well it's it's bringing your passions to the surface and living your passions that's what it's about here and it seems like you're finally aligning it with lots of things in your life <laughs> You've discovered a new passion, you know, you've discovered this whole sort of climbing thing, you know, and you're falling in love with what you're doing. And it's bringing all those qualities to the surface. You may not get the results, but I think you're realizing in the coming week, you're kind of going, okay, this transition is really, really possible now. Is incredibly possible, you know. Yeah, with the King of Cups. You're getting reassurance. You're feeling a lot more comfortable about your future. You're converting the, the emotional side of life, which is what that's all about, the emotional side of life into reality. And you're sitting absolutely within your power in that respect. Six. It's difficult. You know, when you start getting success, right, it's difficult to deal with success it really is you know everyone kind of goes oh, i want to you know i want to you know i want i want i want and when you get it you kind of go oh, okay i've got it now what do i do that's the sort of thing you know and i, I this is where i think you are going to recognize your qualities this is what's going to take you even further than that than the six of six of um wands your your it's a real glow up moment if you stay true and strong to yourself it's a real glow up moment wow it's just beautiful reading for you gemini i love it you've had some real blinders of readings at the moment really nice really nice i'm so chuffed for you it's like sagittarius your opposite side they've been having a hard time as well and they seem to have been coming out in exactly the same time bizarrely because we're in gemini season and they're the opposite and sagittarius has all the fire at the top and the air at the bottom the opposite of you. They've also got more air in their side than they do have fire. The opposite of you. And it's just like you both are getting kind of, hey, let's go. You know, it is absolutely, um, live it, live it, live it. I know, I know we can concentrate on the difficult things in life. That's really easy to do. Any, anybody, any Tom, Dick and Harry can do that, as we'd say. But go in for the good stuff. You know, 
it's all very well. You can get the, you know, you can get like, you can pick a plucker an apple off a tree and it's all very sugary and lovely and everything like that. You try and go and get honey. Different kettle of fish, isn't it? You know, you got to really want that honey. Confront those bees. Go and get the honey, Gemini. Go and get the honey. There you go. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you get the best out of these readings. I really do. Very much uh, appreciate all the support you give to this channel. It's absolutely beautiful. Really touching. Uh, and I thank you, each and every single one of you, uh, when you do. Really do. Um, yeah. Don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.